channel miss naturally mary here we are excited about another video guys we have some bomb hair that i'm going to show you all but before we get started i gotta put my music on usually when i do a video i'm listening to some amazing <laughs> music this song has been on repeat for probably a week or so i have been jamming to this it is so awesome miranda what is her name miranda curtis open heaven listen y'all Y'all have to go check that song out. It is amazing. It will bless your whole entire life. But we're going to get into this video though. All right, all right. So Her Given Hair released quite a few units at the beginning of this year. And this one is one that was slow to release but just became available on the site maybe about a month ago. And one of my followers asked that I review this unit. When I saw it, I was like, yes, girl. I know that unit is going to look so fly. I wanted to do a wash and go on it the minute that I saw it. It has this diva cut that's so official, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how I brought this unit to life. So with every unit, they do have an elastic band, two combs, and also additional clips for added security, which is so convenient. I actually did not have to add any of these items to this unit. I just used the combs and the adjustable strap that it came with and laid and slayed this amazing hair. So right out of the package, I was really impressed with how it felt, also how the lace look. Once again, her given hair units, they have transparent lace, so you don't necessarily have to bleach the knots, but for this one, I decided to, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that. This unit is a lace closure unit, so this is the amount of parting space you have. It comes with two combs at the top, one at the bottom. I'm gonna put it on my head so you guys can see what it looks like before I work on my magic. Some of you guys love just throwing on units. Go for it, girl. But if you want the unit to be woke, I'm gonna show you how. So first things first, we're gonna bleach these knots. I like to use Clairol B2 bleach powder. I said that all wrong, bleach powder. <laughs> and the 40 volume developer. I'm not gonna leave it on as long as I usually do. Typically I leave it on for 30 minutes, but this time I left it on for 20. Typically with the lace closure, I only use two scoops of the bleach powder. I follow that up with the 40 volume developer. And then I add the Adore semi-permanent in eggplant. And this takes away the brassiness. And then I just proceed to add the bleach to the lace and I try not to press in. I left the bleach powder on for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I proceeded to rinse it off. Next, I added the Purple Shimmer Light Shampoo. I left that on for about five to minutes. This is to help rid the lace of the brassiness and then we move on to conditioning. This is what the lace is looking like. It looks so good and natural. I proceed to add the Aussie 7 in 1 Miracle Conditioner. That's what I typically use on this hair. So I just finger comb first and then I use my Demon brush to define the curls. And that Demon brush will be your best friend. It really defines the curls so well and makes the hair look amazing. After washing and defining the curls, this is the amount of shedding that I experienced. This is pretty average shedding for this type of hair looks really good not too much all right guys so now it's time for the fun part we're going to do the wash and go so i have on my brown wig cap i'm going to put the unit on and i'm going to proceed to moisturize and define the curls i'm going to be using the almond and marshmallow leave-in conditioner and this is by eden body works i actually did a tutorial on these products for my natural hair when i paired the leave-in with the serum from this line oh my goodness it provides so much moisture hold definition so that's what I'm gonna be using on this hair so I spray the leave-in first and then I follow it up with the serum and guys it turned out so well you all see how hydrated this hair is with this product and it looks just like this once it dries so amazing so I just continue this process all over the unit using medium sections in order to apply the leave-in and then the serum finger comb and then I just use the dimming brush and it just makes the curls pop. I just can't stand how amazing this hair looks. Guys, you can use this same method on your actual natural hair and get a bomb wash and go. But on this unit, let me tell you, hmm, 
is woke. Own yourself, I think you're beautiful. I don't want nobody else. And even if you let your hair go wild and your feet take a break from your favorite stiletto. You can see a major difference in the hair that's been defined versus the hair that has not. It's gonna be you and me, so no now. Be sure to use a generous amount of both products. Finger comb, then when you feel you have enough moisture, begin starting at the ends with the Denman brush and work your way up. Major difference, right? Another tip is to apply the product at the roots using your fingers and also the Denman brush will help to define those roots a little more and it also provides a natural sheen and luster in that area. When doing the back, I did take it off and put it on my mannequin head, but I just went through the same process and it looks so great. This is where we are currently. We are almost done prepping the hair. It looks really, really good. It looks extremely natural. I'm gonna do a full spin so you guys can see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna finger coil the hair. I just want the curls to be a little, chunked a little more on the end. So I began rolling the ends around my finger and then just sliding it off. And you can do this wherever you want a more uh, chunky curl. After I have the hair the way that I want it, I begin taking it off. And I really don't want to take it off because it looks so good. But I'm going to put it on my mannequin head just to set it for the night. This is what it looks like on the mannequin head. I did decide in the morning time to take the unit off and turn it upside down so that I can have the hair dry on the inside of the unit. And what that did was give me more height. I didn't have to do as much picking later on in the video. You guys will see that, but turning it over made it look so, so good. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how I quickly lay my hair in the front. If you are a type four natural, you're gonna appreciate this part of the video. Currently, my hair is looking really dusty and crusty, but we're gonna get it together, trust me. You don't actually have to lay your hair in the front, but for this install, I decided to. So I'm spraying aloe vera juice on my hair. I follow that up with the dark and lovely all natural curl defining glaze. I apply a generous amount of that. And then I follow it up with the Got To Be Blue Gel in the yellow bottle and I apply it on my edges as well as my actual strands. So I'm making sure that I am applying a generous amount at the roots on my edges and then a lot on my hair. And then I just tuck it under the wig cap and this helps to keep my curl stretched so that if I decide I want to actually leave my hair out in the front or on the sides, I can do that. And it just really leaves my hair looking really sleek and my curls are usually elongated using this strategy. But for this install, once again, I just leave it tucked under the wig cap and it just really makes it look awesome. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and then I'll come back on. And don't worry, the white residue will dissolve as it dries. So it's the next day and guys, I did a different makeup look. I tried some color this time. I got some purple on the eyelids. Do y'all like it? It's so different. I, I think it's cute. It was really a challenge for me not to go for my dark look because y'all know I do that all the time. But I think it turned out really nice. So the next part of the process is gonna be as easy as throwing the wig on your head. I, I literally just cut off the lace and then just tightened the adjustable strap in the back and placed it on my head. Be sure that when you put the unit on, if you're going to expose your edges, that you align the part that's in the unit with the part that you created on your head. After doing that, I just make sure all the combs are inserted and we are done. This is such an easy unit to install. You can merely just throw it on your head and be out the door in minutes. 
If you're not a fan of the hair being down in your face, you can absolutely just put it behind your ears. And this is great for helping if the wind were to blow. But this wash and go turned out so nicely. This unit is fabulous. I am so in love with it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I decided to amp up the look a bit with a necklace that I'm in love with from Kayla K online. Be sure to check the description box for the link to this unit. I'll have all the products listed. I look forward to your comments, feedback. Love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Singing like Whitney, singing like Whitney